April 3rd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 7 and 8 from the Old Testament. O Lord, my God, in you I have taken shelter. Deliver me from all who chase me, rescue me. Otherwise they will rip me to shreds like a lion. They will tear me to bits, and no one will be able to rescue me. O Lord, my God, if I have done what they say, or am guilty of unjust actions, or have wronged my ally, or helped his lawless enemy, may an enemy relentlessly chase me and catch me. May he trample me to death and leave me lying dishonored in the dust. Selah. Stand up angrily, Lord. Rise up with raging fury against my enemies. Wake up for my sake and execute the judgment you have decreed for them. The countries are assembled all around you. Take once more your rightful place over them. The Lord judges the nations. Vindicate me, Lord, because I am innocent, because I am blameless, O exalted one. May the evil deeds of the wicked come to an end. But make the innocent secure, O righteous God, you who examine inner thoughts and motives. The exalted God is my shield, the one who delivers the morally upright. God is a just judge. He is angry throughout the day. If a person does not repent, God sharpens his sword and prepares to shoot his bow. He prepares to use deadly weapons against him. He gets ready to shoot flaming arrows. See the one who is pregnant with wickedness, who conceives destructive plans and gives birth to harmful lies. He digs a pit and then falls into the hole he has made. He becomes the victim of his own destructive plans and the violence he intended for others falls on his own head. I will thank the Lord for his justice. I will sing praises to the Sovereign Lord. O Lord, our Lord, how magnificent is your reputation throughout the earth. You reveal your majesty in the heavens above. From the mouths of children and nursing babies, you have ordained praise on account of your adversaries, so that you might put an end to the vindictive enemy. When I look up at the heavens which your fingers made, and see the moon and the stars which you set in place? Of what importance is a human race that you should notice them? Of what importance is mankind that you should pay attention to them and make them a little less than the heavenly beings? You grant mankind honor and majesty. You appoint them to rule over your creation. You have placed everything under their authority, including all the sheep and cattle as well as the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that moves throughout the currents of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how magnificent is your reputation throughout the earth. God, one of the most amazing things to me about the Bible is even though these people lived thousands and thousands of years ago, they still go through the stuff that we do nowadays. In chapter 7, David, David's frustrated. Somebody is slandering his name, um, gossiping behind his back, talking behind his back. Uh, and we see that today. I have people who talk behind my back. I have people who talk about me on Facebook. Um, but in reading this, I, I think there's one thing that we really need to be clear about is there's all of these verses in here that say, Please look at my heart and please make sure I'm not the one who's at fault here. Almost always there's a situation where I've probably done something wrong and they've probably done something wrong and we both need to work on that. And, and, and there are those occasions though where somebody just doesn't like you for some reason and chooses to act upon that in an ungodly way and tell other people about you, talk behind your back. But first and foremost before we we pray <laughs> chapter 7 from the Psalms to God to deal with these people in our life. We really need to search our own heart, God. We really need to have you just go through our heart and our lives and make sure, honestly, make sure that it's nothing that we have done that has caused this. If they are simply angry at us because we love you so much and we tell others about it, then we do know that that's going to happen. Persecution of the people of the church. But if it's other things and it there seems to be no rhyme or reason for it, God, then please help deal with these people. That kind of talk uh, just gets just gets you distracted. Um, 
I remember before I learned how to deal with it, somebody uh, wrote on an eBay discussion board of all things. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that Janelle person, but I know that she uh, doesn't help anyone. Uh, she only cares about herself. She only cares about money and she would never ever help any sort of person who needed charity from her. <laughs> Luckily, I had friends on that board who cleared my name instantly, but it was such an odd thing to read, something that definitely so wasn't who I was, but I took the attack personally, and I remember crying for hours after reading what that person had said. Like, I actually cared about what that person said, and and now I know, God, that the, that the only person who matters is you. The only opinion that matters is yours. Uh, and that's why I ask you to seek my heart. Seek my heart, God. Show me what I am doing wrong. Help me to do better at the things I'm doing right for you. And please allow me to pray for my enemies. You know, forgiveness isn't just forgiving them. The Bible talks about a different type of forgiveness. Forgiveness up to the point of being able to love them. Ah, <laughs> That can only be done. That can't be done by us. That can only be done with you, God. So thank you for sharing stories like what David was going through, where David, King David, was being slandered by somebody. And it was just, it was tearing him apart, like he talked about, and asking you to help with guidance for that. First and foremost, we need to search ourselves and make sure it wasn't something we did. And then two, we need to pray for those people because something horrid is going on in their hearts if they think that's okay to talk about somebody else that way. So whenever I see that, like on Facebook or discussion groups or people say it sometimes in personal groups, I just know to pray for that person because their heart is really dark at that time and they're thinking it's okay to, to voice their opinion in that way. God, just be with them and be with the people who are persecuted today. You do know that that is a really painful process and one that takes a while to learn how to get over and rely only on the fact of what you think about us is important. God, we just love you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen.